thickly grow pole and then pop the bottom one in like so. They are environmentally friendly. So push it in until it clicks. Growing stronger root systems and they're super easy to extend. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are new to this channel, hello, my name is Rachel and I run my own small business called Growing Green here in Auckland, New Zealand. Make sure to go and check out my website www.growinggreen.nz if you are in New Zealand. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming back for another video. Here on the Growing Green YouTube channel, we make videos all about houseplants. We make plant product tutorials like today's videos. We make plant tutorials and also behind the scenes of my small business. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, make sure to consider hitting the subscribe subscribe button down below and the big thumbs up if you like this video at the end. Whew, now with all of that behind us, let's just get straight into today's video. So today's video is all about a brand new product that we have on our website. As of this video going up, it's new. And that product is the Thickly Grow Pole. Now these type of grow poles are pretty new to the market here in New Zealand. They've only kind of just started popping up in different stores around the country and now of course ours. They're an awesome alternative to the Grow Vertical Poles that we all know and love and I still love them and I still stand by them. They're a really, really awesome product. But these are definitely an awesome budget-friendly alternative to those grow vertical poles. So these grow poles were designed by the Thickly team in Singapore and they have been specially designed for aroids. Although you can definitely use them for other plants as well. And they serve the same function as the grow vertical poles that we all know and love. If you haven't checked those out I will pop up a little card up here as well so you could go and check out that video and do a little bit of a product comparison for yourself because one product may work for one person and the other product might not work for another. They help your climbing plants mimic their natural environment more closely by growing stronger root systems as they climb up the pole and the way that it does this is that as your plant climbs up the pole the nodes will come in contact with the substrate inside of the pole and it will start to grow roots from every node as it climbs up the pole now there's a few benefits to this as well not only does it help your plant attach itself to the pole more quicker because the plant is growing roots at every single node this makes the plant more stable on the pole itself it's fantastic for propagation because as soon as you want to propagate your plant you simply chop it and plant it into a new pot and it also promotes some Something called morphogenesis. Now morphogenesis is the process of your plant growing bigger leaves because it is more supported and it has more root system growing up here. It allows your plants to pick up the nutrients in the substrate or the fertilizer you give it quicker, getting it to the new growth faster, growing you bigger, stronger, healthier leaves. And this also helps to speed up the process of maturing your plants. And not only does this help to mature your plants more quicker, they'll also grow faster. So this is what they look like when you receive them in the mail. This is the flat version. It's a little bit hard to see because they're crystal clear, which is awesome. This is the made up version before it has been planted and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video but now I'm going to talk a little bit about the poles themselves. I'm going to be using the frosted color for most of this video it's just a little bit easier to show you because the clear obviously you can't see much because they are so clear. I've had a few comments on my TikTok and Instagram that I have posted make sure to go check out my Instagram and my TikTok down below I'll put the links down there for you. The main comment that I've had on these so far before I've made this video is the fact that they are plastic. Yes you are correct they are plastic however they are environmentally friendly. The clear poles are made from 100% PET plastic which means they are made from recycled plastic and they are 100% recyclable. The frosted ones are made from O5 plastic which is polypropylene but it is also recycled. Another fun fact about these is where they are made in the factory as you can see obviously they have like little punch out holes for your roots to grow through. All of that waste in the factory is recycled back into the product itself so there's practically no waste with these. And when you are ready to chuck them out pop them in your recycling and they'll be turned into something else as well. So now that I've given you a little bit of an explanation about the poles, how they function, what they're made of, I'm going to show you exactly how to build one of these. As you can see I have my little plant newly planted on one of the frosted poles and they're super easy to extend. All you do is pop them on top of each other like that. I'll show you how to do it properly in just a moment and you can also shorten them if you want. They're nice and easy to cut with just regular scissors. If you think this is a little bit too high for your plant you can chop it off there and you can also extend it after it's been chopped as well. So they're super easy to extend and super easy to shorten to whatever suits your needs. And they can also be filled with any kind of substrate that you like. You can fill them either before you make the pole or after the pole. I personally prefer after. You can fill it with the likes of tree fern fiber, sphagnum moss. You can fill it with your regular potting mix, which I also like to do. The choice is totally up to you. It's basically whatever works for you. So now that I've told you everything that you need to know about the poles themselves, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this, and I'm also going to show you how to extend them. So yeah, let's head over to my potting bench. Okay, so now I'm 
I'm going to show you how to build the thickly grow pole. First of all, we need to establish a top and a bottom. So this is the bottom here. Let's flip that around. And as you can see on the bottom, it has these two little tabs here, these two little cutouts like that. Now these are the soil tabs and they help to hold your pole into the pot. As you can see, there are two lines that run along the side of the pole here and here. And these are the ones you're going to fold first. So you're gonna start at the top and fold along that line. It's a little bit tricky to get started. go back along it a few times to make sure it is nice and folded and there you go you have your first side folded and then you're gonna do exactly the same on this side so you're gonna take your pole and you're going to fold it like this So then you will have something that looks a little bit like this. It will look kind of like a triangle. So the next step to join your pole together is you're going to take these tabs and you're going to insert them into these slots on the other side here. Now when you're inserting the tab into the slot on the other side, make sure that you insert them over the top like that. And a little trip to get them to click together is to pop in one side of the triangle first, like that and then pop the bottom one in like so and it will just slot in together. And if it looks like that, nice and curved at the back, then you've done it correctly. And then all you need to do is continue down the rest of the pole, popping them in one after the other. And there you have your finished grow pole. Ta-da! All done. Really, really easy. You can make these up in less than 30 seconds. They're so quick. Again, I'm going to show you the top from the bottom of the pole now that it has been made up. As you can see, this is the bottom of the pole here, and it has this long tab at the bottom. These are called soil tabs. So what you're going to do when you plant your plant, you're going to actually pop these out like that. And there should be one on the other side. Pop them both out, bend them down a little bit. And then when you plant them actually into the pot, these soil tabs will cling onto the substrate and help hold your pole in the pot. And these tabs also come in handy when you are extending your pole, and I will show you that in a minute as well. So on the top of your pole, you will have these two little tabs here, one on that side and one on that side, and those are also what you use to help extend your pole. This one has been in the pot for a little while now, and as you can see, it's super sturdy in there. That is not going to come out anytime soon. So the next step is to show you how to extend your pole. So the first step, of course, is to make a second pole, and here we have our second pole. To extend them, what you're going to do is you're going to obviously put this one on top, turn this around, and as you can see, you're just going to slightly bend the pole inwards, no need for like really intense pressure. Just bend it slightly in the middle, you're going to insert the top pole, so the new pole, into the base of the already planted pole. Like that. It shouldn't be hard, it should just naturally slide in like that. And then once it's in, you can push it down a little bit. And then what you're going to do is you're going to clip them into place. So as you can see, there is the soil tab from the bottom of the top pole, so the extension. And here is the little tab at the top of the bottom of the pole that is planted in the pot. So what you're going to do is you're going to push the top pole down about halfway to three quarters up to where the soil tab is, so they kind of meet like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to push on this little tab on the bottom pole and you're going to push it all the way through until it clicks. So push it in until it clicks. And what's actually happened is that that little tab on the outside has flipped underneath the soil tab on the inside and now it's nice and secure. So I'll show you on the other side again. Let's turn it around. Once that's done you're going to turn it around again. You're just going to slot it down into place and all of the rectangles should line up perfectly. And there you have your extended grow thickly pole. Now one thing I will say about extending these is I would make sure to just keep an eye on the weight of them because as you do fill them up with substrate obviously they will get heavier and if they do at some point become heavier than the pot they will tip over. So that's exactly the same for any kind of grow pole so just yeah make sure to keep an eye on the weight of these. So that is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was informative and I hope you now have enough information to decide whether these thickly grow poles are right for you. If they're not quite the right product for you make sure to check out my video up here. Here I'm all about an alternative called Grow Vertical Grow Pole. Basically exactly the same product, just built a little bit differently. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It only takes a split second of your time, but it helps out the channel so much and lets me know what kind of content you guys want to see from me. And also, if you did enjoy this and want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as well. And also the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. So yeah, thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Wah, wah, waka, wah. Greenhouse is gonna blow inside out. Stop swinging. Stop it. <laughs>
It also helps support the plant. I'm going to show you it. <coughs> it means that the plant will... Shit. <laughs> Fiber, you can fill them with spagmum... Spagmum moss. <laughs> spagnum moss. Your pole is extended and it's not... Oh. Like a lightsaber. Mm. 